These writers are deliberately tricking us. Mm. They are tricking us into thinking that some uh, sequence of words is t said to you by the author or the narrator, and it's just true. Mm. When in reality, it's actually just somebody's point of view. And this turns out to be really good for us. Ah, and why do you think it's good for us? So this is another way in which, you know, I think writers can, in a salutary way, exploit the, our, the frailties of our cognitive apparatus, right? So why is it good for us? We, you know, we encounter some kind of claim in a work of fiction. A good example in Jane Austen is Pride and Prejudice. There's a scene where, this I borrow from my friend and colleague, Lanier Anderson, there's this scene where Elizabeth Bennet is looking, talking to Mr. Darcy. And everyone will remember this from the novel, the fantastic TV adaptation. And um, she's talking to him about this, this horrible situation with her sister and everyone's afraid of it and uh, afraid what's going to happen. And, and Darcy says something. And then the line is, a deeper shade of auteur spread across his features. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's even more arrogant and supercilious than he ever was before. He's just disgusted. What a horrible family. These guys are trailer trash. You know, what am I getting myself involved in? Turns out much later in the novel, it wasn't auteur at all. So he, the, his expression did change. He was thinking about something. He was feeling something. What was he feeling? Concern. Yeah. He was feeling, there were, kind, there were all kinds of possible feelings. He was feeling concern. He was thinking about his own situation. He happened to know this bad guy that's involved in the situation. In other words, this little, just this little sentence, this little innocent looking sentence that looks like it's a statement of fact about what's happening in the novel, turns out to be Elizabeth's point of view. Why is that good for us? Because, well, look, the whole novel is about Pride and Prejudice. It's not just about the Pride and Prejudice of the characters. It's about ours. Why did we, why were we so quick to, th to interpret the sentence that way? Because we're prejudiced. Because we have an existing belief about who Darcy is and what kind of character he has, and he can't possibly be different. He can't possibly be changed. Guess what, we're wrong.